Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and I'm very happy to be here with you today. I'm going to be doing a love and romance reading for Pisces. I see Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for this last chunk of 2022. Let's see, Universe, what do you have to say? What is the best advice for Pisces? What is the best advice for Pisces? showing up here in love we have the seven of swords so that's interesting right away Pisces so right now could be a time in which you don't feel completely comfortable trusting another person many of you have given so much of yourselves in the past that you know you've experienced a lot of these situations in which you have been met with everything but the same amount of love attention attention time um, ease etc. So some of you are, you know, a little bit exhausted of the idea of love. Some of you, let's, let's phrase this, you know, in different scenarios. If you are in a current relationship, then there could be a possibility that you're hiding something from your partner, or you're just keeping information from your partner. If that's not the case, maybe your partner is keeping some kind of information from you. And now, this doesn't have to be something negative. This could be a Christmas present they don't want to disclose, okay? This could be a surprise vacation they're planning. This could be all sorts of things. But there's definitely here a lack of complete transparency. And maybe this is something that is triggering for you, even if it's like a gift or something like that. The fact that you feel intuitively that something is being kept from you could be very triggering. It could really make you feel overwhelmed, exhausted, and you are, may really overthink the whole thing, okay? Even if the relationship is perfectly fine. In other cases here, if you're single, you may be feeling like you can't trust anybody. You may feel exhausted mentally of the idea of continuing to try to meet someone who understands you or someone who is good enough for you someone who treats you the way you want to be treated there may be offerings coming to you but you're like that is just not it some of you are maybe starting to believe that there isn't you know a possibility of things unfolding in the way that you really want them to some of you have really been hurt by a capricorn they really did a number on you and that is still affecting you um, could be a Virgo, could be a Taurus as well. Before this reading, I recorded the money rating for Pisces. And in the outcome card, we got the star, wish fulfillment. And look at what we have in the outcome card here as well, wish fulfillment. So not only money and finances are going to start looking up, but love is also going to be amazing. Some of you guys are going to be tapping or connecting into a soulmate energy Maybe even someone you've met in past lives or someone you've met, you know, at some point in your childhood or something, they're going to be coming back and they're going to be proving to you how beautiful love can be. That's what I just heard. Love it. Maybe you have been focusing on your stability, focusing on your work, health, having your world in order. And maybe now you're going to be able to open up to the possibility of something new or something beautiful. For some of you, this is going to open up because the person that arrives is someone that you already trust, someone you spend years with, maybe at school or maybe in college or whatever. And it's someone that you already trust, so this is going to make something easier here. For others of you, even if you're feeling completely like jaded and not open to love at all, it seems like circumstances are going to be aligning themselves in such a way in which you are going to say yes to a potential opportunity here. And as I say that, 4444 four, four, four in the timer of the video. So Pisces, there is this need to go deep into how you perceive trust 
and what beliefs have been cemented in your mind? Do you believe no one should be trusted? Do you trust yourself? Do you trust God? You know what I mean? Like there's a little bit of everything and you're invited here to go through that internal process and ask yourself, where do you stand? To see where there could be a door that's locked that maybe you could open if love is something that you want. But I mean, honestly, with the wish fulfillment card, if you have been praying for love, your prayers are being heard and answered in the near future. If you have been asking for something different, if you have been doing some manifestation techniques, if you have been love attractioning <laughs> or, you know, doing spell work or whatever it may be, um, it's definitely working, Pisces, okay? Love is coming for you. Love is coming and you don't need to be scared of it. Instead, you can definitely be open to it. Okay, Pisces, this is going to be great. You get a soulmate in your near future. All right. This is a short reading. But it looks really good. <laughs> so, yeah. I love you, Pisces. I hope you're doing great. And I hope that you get to share the holidays with someone special. Bye.